Okay, so in this video, we're going to be cutting into and stacking cubes. So we're going to start by um, drawing a rectangle on the rectangular part of this cube. Um, so whenever you're drawing on the surface that's facing you, there um, you just start with a plain rectangle. And then you're going to find the corner that the vanishing line goes within the rectangle and draw that all the way to the other side. So that forms a hole and this area right here becomes the ground and this area right here becomes the wall. So it becomes like a hole inside of that cube. Um, it gets quite a bit more complicated to draw that hole whenever it's on the vanishing plane. And when I mean plane, I mean surface area. So this is a plane that's vanishing. And the rectangular shape um, has edges that are going to be vanishing. Just like whenever you were drawing the cube, it it was vanishing also. So you draw the um, vanishing rectangle and then you're going to draw this interior corner. And that makes it look like a hole going into that surface. So depending on where your rectangle is, that changes, but you follow those same rules. Um, if we move up above eye level, and this particular hole is on either side of the vanishing point, so it's a good example of um, what it looks like on either side. So in this case, um, you have two surface or three surfaces that you can actually see. You can see this side, you can see the back wall, and you can see this side. Just barely, but you can see it, and that's important. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to stack cubes. Um, one thing that I want to point out is how important it is to initially draw your um, cubes large. That makes everything um, that I'm showing you in this video much easier. It's easier to stack cubes. It's easier, much easier to cut into cubes if everything is larger um, instead of being super tiny. So you can do a lot of cutting. So what I'm showing you now is just how to overlap, basically, um, just drawing rectangles that over, or drawing cubes that overlap each other um, into a space. So this one starts below eye level and stacking those up above eye level. This set of blocks is basically all above eye level, so you can't see actually where they're overlapping. We just know that they are because they're the way they're placed. There's no difference in how you draw them. You just can't see the bottom surfaces because they're covered up. You could always draw the bottom part of the cube and just erase it as you go. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. You'll see in this finished video, you'll see a lot of marks that, um, that are kind of halfway there or that I should have erased a little bit better. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, leaving those marks there to sh kind of show the history of how the drawing progressed. So be creative and um, have fun with this and show me what you can do.